How did I y'all? I'm paying the bell and today what we'll be doing is we will be drawing some Minecraft mobs as if they were in real life. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first Minecraft mob that we will be drawing is we will be drawing the famous and notorious creeper. And for all my friends who don't know what a creeper is or what they do, here is what they basically are. They look interesting, huh? <laughs> The Minecraft Creeper is notorious for sneaking up behind players and blowing up. Most often, that blowing up is those builds that you spent weeks on building. It's very ir irritating. Another fun fact that some of that some of you may not know is that Minecraft Creepers were actually the result of Notch trying to design pigs. It came out as a coding glitch, but this is what he got, and he actually really liked it. So he put it in the game. <laughs> but having said that, that is actually one of the things that we decided to base the design on. A bit of a pig that has been like horribly, horribly like mutated by who knows what. So you have the four legs here with like the little pig hooves. You have the head and what we wanted to do was make it more blockish because, well, Minecraft is very blocky so we just wanted to pay homage to all of that. Another thing that we decided to do was put in like crooked teeth and all that, make like the eyes super hollow because creepers kind of have those black hollow lifeless eyes. Also the pig snout. Pig snout was super fun. The pot belly because I mean, whenever we think pigs. <laughs> and finally the ribs because how else are creepers supposed to breathe and do their notorious before they blow you on up. So that was kind of like the little design features. Oh, another thing, another thing. Before we move on, before we move on. The vines. Now the vines what was really more along the lines because if you don't know, and I highly re recommend it, but watching Mac 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 uh, be, 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 <laughs> Game Theory's video on what creepers are, that kind of gave me a little inspiration behind the vines. <laughs> It, it's just a really little fun tidbit and it really adds to the creepiness that is Blanca Creeper. We just really wanted to push forward the creepiness, my friends. I mean, seriously, Minecraft Creepers should be creepy. It, it's kind of in their name. <laughs> but having said that, trying to keep them their notorious green was a little bit of a challenge since Creepers are known for being like this bright green and that's not creepy. If anything, it made them seem more friendly. So what we kind of wanted to do, friends, was make it a little bit more desaturated. So really add in, added into the creepiness factor. Another thing that really added in was the lighting and shadows. Now here's a little excerpt from like what it looks like as flats versus what it looks like with lighting and color. Lighting and shading makes a whole world of difference when it comes to art. Like, so many people don't give it as much credit as they properly should, in my opinion. Because lighting and shadow just really adds the mood. Like, for example, if we were to put, like, pinks and stuff, it would look light and cute, even though the inking and the sketch says otherwise. With, like, the hue of what we're going to draw in a minute looking, like, red. And then we're having like desaturated colors with a lot of shading to make it look really creepy. As if it's stalking you during dusk or during night. And all you can see in front of you is a torch as your light source. And then BOOM! There goes your base. <laughs> Now, the reasoning behind like wanting to draw all the Minecraft characters, I know this is a little bit off sidetrack, but wanting to draw all the Minecraft mobs is kinda because I, I, I may have or may not have been playing a little bit too much Minecraft as of late. <laughs> but that's the Minecraft Creeper, so let's go ahead and do the next one. So I know that for like the first video of this going to soon to be series of drawing Minecraft mobs and whatnot as realistic things, the next thing that most people probably associate with Minecraft is like probably Enderman or the Ender Dragon or even the Wither. But the last video we did was we drew our Minecraft, me and my siblings Minecraft avatars as, you know, we just drew them. 
So my friends, what we kind of wanted to do was pay a little homage to that, and if you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend go and watch it. I will put it in the description below and one of the iCards. But what we wanted to do was we kind of wanted to draw a wither skeleton. <laughs> now, wither skeletons, you may think, oh, they're just skeletons with big swords. Let's face the facts. The nether runs on souls, and according to MatPat, wither skeletons are kind of like the undead soldiers from an ancient race known as the Builders. Kind of suspected before he made like the whole video, but it was really nice to see him touch up on it, you know? And I'm sure you, my friend, probably enjoyed it, and if you haven't, hey, everyone has different opinions, right? <laughs> but anyway. <clears throat> The Minecraft with Wither Skeleton here has like black bones and stuff, so what I kind of wanted to pay homage to was the fact when they hit you with like their with like their sword or something, you kind of get damaged by this withering effect. You know what else gives you the wither effect? Wither roses. I wondered, hmm, maybe spending too much time around wither roses made the builders eventually wither away and all that's left of them is like their bones and like whatever soul is left of them stuck inside of that still protecting the fortress to this day with that being their one goal so that's what we kind of wanted to do we kind of went with like the wither roses here and since wither roses are so dark and wither skeletons are so dark it kind of made it really difficult to color it in. I know it adds to the extra creepiness factor of making them extra dark, but it was still super hard to see where I was coloring. Also the shading and lighting, it, it was super difficult. But the backlighting of the red makes it look super imposing, and in a minute, during like the finishing up of drawing this, you'll notice that what we do is we tend to add like this purple glowing bit from the mouth and from the chest. Now what the idea behind this was, was since the nether kind of runs off souls, I mean just look at soul sand, what the thought process was, the wither still kind of had a soul in there, and that is what's keeping it alive in a sense. So you just have like the purple glow right there. And I know like the Minecraft mob doesn't have a purple glow or whatnot, but one, I kind of imagine that would be hard to do in a Minecraft style, in the Minecraft style, because honestly, it's all like pixels and stuff, which it looks great and it makes Minecraft very distinct and makes it great for building because, you know, you have the blocks, but it would, if you were adding like details like that to make them ex your mobs extra creepy, it's a little bit more challenging. Clearly they know how to do it well with the Minecraft Warden that's coming on out. That thing is terrifying. <laughs> Which I think eventually we could draw that in like the next video because it's so interesting. <clears throat> but yeah, the little Minecraft soul thing was just a little thing that I wanted to add. You know, artist liberty and whatnot. Freedom of interpretation, I guess you could say. <laughs> And that's the little wither, the wither, the wither. And up next, we come to the Phantom. Now the Phantom is a newer Minecraft mob that everyone agrees is super annoying. Basically what happens in Minecraft, if you're a little bit out of the loop, haven't been playing Minecraft for a while, or like haven't been keeping up with the news, my friends, is whenever you don't go to bed for the longest amount of time, Instead of just a lot of mobs popping in like it used to, now you also have Minecraft phantoms where you they spawn in excessive amounts and attack you. So yeah, make sure to go to sleep on time kiddos because if you don't, the little Minecraft phantoms will come and attack you. <laughs> the Minecraft phantoms are super annoying and it's like, oh man, I, I thought, thought I went to bed not that long ago. No! But to be fair, they do produce like phantom membrane, which is often used to fix elytra. So, you know, it has a purpose. But that being said, when it came to the design, Minecraft phantoms are actually pretty creepy. I gotta give Minecraft top-notch credit for it. They look kind of creepy. 
Yes, I know, it, it's not as creepy as it could be with other video games, but this is also Minecraft rated E for everyone. And, you know, it's a little bit hard to make things creepy in this style, but they have gotten better in recent years, I'll give them credit. <laughs> so one thing that we wanted to keep was like the head being like squashed. I kind of contribute that to being sort of cat-like, which if I recall, actually, you know what? I'm going to look it up. Ha ha ha. Your the comment section isn't going to get me this time. Ha. I knew it. My, which, okay. So the squashed head thing reminded me of a cat is actually pretty funny because phantoms are actually terrified of cats just like creepers are. And apparently cats, when they come up to you at night, like in Minecraft, the cats do give you gifts. And apparently one of those gifts can be a phantom membrane. Uh, apparently these phantoms have a right to be scared of cats. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> but yes, S the squashed head kind of reminds me of a cat, which cats are kind of like predatory and I think the squashed head helps with that. So it, it it's very interesting. Another thing is they kind of have these bat-like torn wings and like a skeleton or some sort of armor over their stomach and over the back. I kind of took it as like skeletal ribs slash armor and drew it on the front of their stomach, as you can see here. Another thing is the wings are kind of torn up, so you know these phantoms have been through quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> and lastly, another thing is I kind of imagine them with scales. I don't know why, but these little Minecraft will f like these fa phantoms remind me of an amphi- I'm trying to, to pronounce it, but Amphitir. Amphitir. I think that's how you pronounce it. Here, I'll just put the word on here and you, you be the judge. <laughs> Now, the thing with these creatures, like the amphitheers, is they have no legs. The, basically, they're just like a large snake with two feathered wings, but with a dragon's head. That's kind of what phantoms remind me of, because I don't see any legs there. Do you see legs, my friends? Because I don't see them. <laughs> But what I do kind of think that phantoms have is like the stinger. I mean, if you look at their tail, it looks very suspicious to a stinger. And I think that's kind of how they attack you. So that's kind of like what we're doing right here. We're kind of giving them a little stinger. And that being said, they are the, these phantoms are designed to look more like the amphitheers. Cause yeah. But that's going to have to do it for today's video. Now, if you made it to the end of the video, please type out the code word tablet. But having said all that, thank you for coming to watch the video. And if you liked it, please watch this video right here. Please like and subscribe and do all that YouTube related things. And I'll see all my friends later. <laughs>